And I think it's his fault. I am really depending, I am, I am depending on these things. I mean, today there are colors in well. there, but I always need this. Personal questions. I pick those to you ask pick you. pick those to ask me. And the white ones are me asking you. You have the nicer color. I'm oh. a little jealous. Eh? <laughs> and these questions are general questions. For the both of us. There will be joker questions. So I can make up my own question and ask you whatever. You understand? Yeah, yeah I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start it. So are you ready for the first I'm so question? ready. Okay. <laughs> Which routine from your childhood have you maintained up until now? It's my father's fault. Let's start right there. My father used to put a lot of cream on my lips. Yeah. Yeah, because they were quite cracky for some reason in the wintertime. And he always had the feeling he has to put lots of moisturizer on his children. Hmm. Um, uh, and then he bought like a lipstick. And I think it's his fault, really his fault, that up until this day today, I am really depending, I am, I am depending on these things. I mean, today there are colors in wow. there, but I always need this, a, yeah. a lip gloss, a lipstick, something to moisturize my lips. That's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, a, is, is, that, is that a good answer? It's quite personal, it is, actually. Yeah. It's well, not very deep, but personal. No, I, I like to hear stories like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to ask you a question, I'll personal okay. one. Which song would you have most liked to produce? Oh, that's a hard one because... <laughs> yeah, that's a hard uh, one. Well, you know, the only thing I could do, I've got favorite songs for like from the Beatles. You know, I've got a handful of, they've written some great songs, obviously. And uh, the only best I could do is cover those songs. Mm -hmm. But I believe that when a song makes its debut, debut like heroes and all that, the artist usually makes the definitive version right. that no one can beat. Right. So I wouldn't record heroes with anyone else. Yeah. I wouldn't record I Gotta Get You Into My Life with anyone else, yeah. although I did one time and it kind of backfired on me. Yeah. So, you know, uh, but uh, so to re-record to re something that's come out like a Sting song mm -hmm. or a Joni Mitchell song, mm -hmm. Joni Mitchell's like done the best you could with yeah. the with her songs, you know, anyone else who sings it, like you're gonna either sound like her or do a bad version of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm always, you know, I'm hoping that I'll always find a, a original material from an artist that's gonna be tomorrow's classic. Yeah. And I will be involved, as I have many times in my career, yeah. creating a classic recording of a classic song. Yeah. And that's the only thing I could really, really hope for. Yeah. Uh, as I said, it's just, for me, it's dangerous territory to yeah. cover a song that's already been done a zillion times. Yeah, covering a song is something that I do when I am on stage, live, yeah. because maybe the song means so much to me, or I think the song's brilliantly written. Um, yeah. So. Oh, that's good. If you're going to sing a, bun a group of songs that have yeah. previously come out, yeah. that's really good. Yeah. That's a nice thing to, to hear in a concert. Yeah. Yeah. You can't like process all new songs. Yeah. But the thing I just thought, a second thought I had about this is that uh, the songs I grew up with that my mother and father listened yeah. to, yeah. they had their song that they fell in love with is yeah. called I Only Have Eyes For You. Yeah. Mm. And that's a song that was written in the 1940s. Yeah and it was popular on the radio in those days, and they only had eyes for each other. Yeah. And whenever my father would play it on the accordion, my mother would sing it, you know, I would, I would start crying, you mm -hmm. know. Those songs I would like to cover because they are the, I don't know what they call them, you know, the golden era of, yes. of the, the, from the late 20s to the late 40s right. was just fantastic.